Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to use up the rest of these paints that I um, mixed for yesterday's painting. Um, and <laughs> if you watched yesterday's video you'll know that currently they have no silicon in them. <laughs> Much to my um, freak out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of silicon in each of these three. Uh, there's hardly any paint at all in the white, the gold and the blue. So I'm not going to put any silicon in those. And um, you don't need to mix your silicon in that much. All right. Uh, you don't definitely don't need an egg beater process. So what are my colours? If you didn't watch yesterday, my colours are... The green is Americana Deco Art. The blue is Americana Deco Art. The red is Renault Art Crimson Red. The purple is a mix of the Renault Art Crimson Red and the Deco Art Primary Blue. And the gold is Renault Art Gold. Duh. And the white is Deco Art Americano Titanium Snow White. So I've got my record here. This has been prepped. As you can see, all my records are scratched as I get them from a um, record collector who's going to take them to the dump. So they have no value. They're scratched to heck and back. Even when you think, look at it and go, oh, Johnny Mathers. Wow, cool. Um... Yeah, it's got no value. It's scratched as. So I put a bit of sellotape across the back. And then I paint the uh, the label just with some Mars Black. Um, normally I use Reeves. I haven't been using the Deco Art before. But they kindly sent me a sample pack to try and share with you on my videos. So that's what I'm doing. Now, also, the other part of this is these paints are all mixed with a 50-50 of pouring medium from Deco Art, which is their new product out, and Flood Flow Troll. 50-50 of those two. And then um, they were mixed 50-50-ish into the paints. So that's, that's what we've done so far. <laughs> catching you up to speed so what I'm going to do is I am going to do a flip cup uh, using this cup and um, just going through and putting layers of each of these colors in. obviously there's going to be less of the ones I've got less of more of the ones I've got more of but hey let's use up this paint I'm going to start off with some pink Pinky crimson, and then go in with some purple, and seeing as the red and the blue make the purple, let's go in with some of that, and some gold, and some green, and some white. I'm not a fan of pink pink, like girly pink, which is why I tend to try and keep my pink and my, my crimson and my red apart. Crimson and white. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I'm going to go around with those ones that I've got quite a bit of left and then go again. And let's use the last of these other paints. Now I found to do a whole record with these paints, I need to use, have about two thirds of this cup. And um, otherwise I get... It very very thin or missing bits so 
So what I'm actually going to do, because I know that this is not going to have enough paint, because <laughs> you know what, that's just the way that it is. Scrape those out. Scrape this one out. Now, if you have pre-mixed your paints and they've been sitting around for a while, don't scrape the sides too much. Why? Because you'll get lumps in it. And lumps in your paint is not fun. Uh, now... I'm not going to scrape out the pink and green. I've got a lot of those in there already. And I know that this is not a, is enough paint. And I also know if I put the rest of those in there, it's going to be too much of those colours and I'm not going to like it. So, what I'm going to do is this here is my house paint. I use spring um, indoor outdoor acrylic from Bunnings uh, and I mix that with Floetrol, this one's Floetrol, PVA and water uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Do, 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 do. I'm going to get this and I'm just going to give that a bit of a stir just because I can then I'm going to flip it ready, set, go and I'm going to let that sit there and I'm going to pour some white around the outside And while I've got that pushed down so it doesn't come out, I'm just going to spread that out and make a covering on the record. Whee! This is a bit weird doing it with something already in the way. It doesn't get an even now when you're doing this I really recommend that you've got a good pressure against the cup and behind the cup so that it doesn't let go <laughs> and you don't end up with um, paint all over the place. Uh, I know it's not right the way out to the edges. And I'm just going to use my finger to take it out to the edges. So when you're working with paint and you're having it run around like this, um, Um, you've got to be aware that when it's going over a non-painted area it will run slower because of the viscosity type I don't know there's, there's technical sciencey words that for it but basically it runs different And I'm going to do a technique that I learned off Anne-Marie Ritterhoff. And instead of just picking the cup up, I'm going to push and pull back. Oh, look at the stick. Can you see that? It's got cells on the stick where I stirred it. Pretty. All right, let's make sure that you guys can see all of this. Okay, so push and pull back. Uh, just like that and we still ended up with drips 
but we ended up with this cool effect as well which I really like so um, before I go any further I'm going to let some of these cells develop so that as we tilt it round it's going to um, stretch those cells these these dots here where the silicon are rising to the top these are what we call silicon cells that's why we put the silicon in um, just going to go over pop any bubbles and the warmth from the flame will also so oh, did you see that will also invite the silicon up to the top just like all through here and so now as I pull this around the board see how much easier it swims around the board or around the record with the paint already there compared to when I just had the white paint Now that's actually allowing the paint that I had to be enough because there was already that base. Oh, this is beautiful. That purple, so Renault Art Crimson Red and Americana Primary Blue is stunning. I love it. Now... Pull this last little bit of white off by tilting it that way there we go and bring it back to try and round up some of those circuit cells but look at that guys isn't that stunning wow i love this purple and this blue it's so delicious yummy 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 it's all i can say <laughs> I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Um, now, what I'm noticing is this record is really, really bendy. So what I'm going to do is lift that up and spread my support tins out. Maybe even add another one. There we go. See how it didn't drop as much as it did before? Okay. Alright, I'm just going to rinse my hands and then we'll do some more. Okay. So, I don't know actually now looking at it again whether I'm going to do any more at all. I adore this just as it is. Um... Looking over it from a side angle, I can see there are some tiny little pin prick um, air bubbles. I'm just going to do a real quick flash across to get those. Oh look, more cells. Wow. Through here guys, this is gold tinted. And this is all gold through here. So let me get you down and show you what I'm seeing down here. Oh, oh, more cells. <laughs> These are so cute. Let me get you down and show you. Okay, from this angle, can you see those little divot looking bits? That's where the silicons come up. It's, if we go back through along those little divots is where the silicon has risen to the top. And it's pushed the paint down. So these are the ones that just came up just now after with that last torching. And can you see how this one here and the others have it slightly as well 
have kind of a powdery effect to them. Now the white that's in on the top of this here is actually that house paint. So it's not a high quality artist paint. And um, when it gets distributed like that, you can see, come on, focus up. You can see those individual particles. Um, and they kind of curdle a little bit sometimes when it hits the silicon. But I really like the effect as long as it's not all over the place. See, there it is again on that one. But look, because we did so many layers in our cup, look how many layers we get in the cells. I mean, even just that one there. Come on, focus. Focus up for me. There. There, that one. Look at all the different color layers in that. And then we'll come over here. This big one with the green around it. Look at all the color layers. Now that is created by the number of layers that you put in your cup. Okay, so if you're finding that you're only getting sort of a one color cell and you're not getting these multi ringed cells, please, please, please try layering more colors in your cup. See there? That's that gold streak I was telling you about. Hehe, <laughs> cool, eh? Wow. I am really, 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 really liking this Flow Troll and Deco Art Pouring Medium mix. It's a 50 50 mix, really, really easy. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I buy my Flow Troll in four litre bottles, which is just over a gallon. So. <laughs> Um, I have no idea how much a gallon of this pouring medium would cost. Deco art, if you're watching this and you do them in that big, look at this. How yummy. Now that green isn't actually quite as fluorescent as that. I don't know. This camera does weird things with colors. Um. Actually, I went to, a friend of mine was playing at a New Zealand Music Month event here in Rotorua last night, and I went along to support her, and I was trying to take photos of her playing, and they had this red light. Oh, I really love that piece there. That's just yummy. Um, they had this red light as the main lighting, and... I totally washed out. All my photos of her are really red lighted and I played with the settings and tutted around and then I looked over at somebody who was using an iPad and they weren't having the same problem and I was like hmm and then I saw somebody using an iPhone and they weren't having the same problem. I was like hmm okay I wonder. So Maybe one day I will pinch my son's iPad and uh, see what it comes out like. But I am so happy with this, guys. So beautiful. That purple, the um, Americana Primary Blue and Renault Art Crimson Red. OMG, I love it. Absolutely love it. And... Uh, I'm so looking forward to seeing this dry. I will be back with you, your time, in three, two, one. Okay, we're back. And here it is. This is... I so love this painting and I am gutted. Gutted, 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 because look what's happened. It's cracked. It went weird. I mean, yep, it's got weird little um, ripples in it, but resin would fix that. It's these cracks and they're everywhere. I am so gutted. Uh, and I put my finger in it as well, thinking it was dry. Silly me. Now this has been trying to dry for the last five 
days. Yes, this is five days on and we are still wet in the middle. Starting to see the label ring, but the, the hole where the center is, is only just a slight dent, which is one of the symbols to me that it's not yet dry. But look at all this cracking. I'm gutted. I'm so glad I took all those pictures when it was dry, uh, when it was wet, because at least I have a digital record of it. Gutted, 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 gutted. Anyway, guys, um, I really love the colours. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to start having the heater on for winter. See if that makes a difference. Anyway, how does it get any better than this? And what else is possible? Really, that's the only thing I can do. Um, universe, show me what's required to change here. For this to come out more beautiful than I imagined. And dry beautiful too. What else is possible? Okay, so... Come join us on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. And if you want notifications of when I put my paintings up in the shop or when um, when I'm going to be going live, then jump onto mickeyart.com forward slash sign up and sign up for my email. I will be going live soon and I'll tell you about it via email. Bye bye.